What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Ryan Myers Expeditions. We're hunting again here. Caden, trying to be quiet because we're already out here in our spot. I got some proper camo this time though. Look like I know what I'm doing almost. He said he's been seeing a really big pig out here. So that's the goal. That's what we're looking for. If not, he said those little, those four little white ones that we've been seeing that we saw in that other video grew up and are now little 20, 30 pound roly polies ready to be eaten. We're getting rained on. <laughs> like the first time it's rained up here in like a week and a half. It's all right, it's gonna bring the pigs out. Yeah, I'll bring the pigs out. I'll bring the Conversations. I just walked. Walked right here. Ryan, it's gonna come out right down here, okay? Okay, you see those two shrubs? It's gonna walk probably right out there, and if it does, that's 35 yards. God, what a call. <laughs> Let's go. 52 yards. 
Okay, Dog. you just went right down. Damn. Do you have a knife? Bro, I'm full hunter now. You okay, ready? you got a knife. You ready? Dang. Christmas present from Sam? Guys, how many arrows does it take to kill a 10 pound pig? <laughs> so Okay. So first one went. There, one, two. He. Okay, this one, one in. This one right here. Yeah, I went into the bush. The arrow did. Check this out, guys. There's a, there's a bloody arrow. <laughs> one soaking wet arrow. One clean arrow. And we'll go check on the third arrow. That's that's in the pig. Like, he stuck it at 52 yards and it just fell over. That was a good call. It looked like it went down. Yeah. That's what it looked I like. Just, I, I feel like I've learned that now in my hunting. Like, I'm done. Like if I can still, if he's still there, like I'm hitting him again. Mm -hmm. Like I've just lost. I just, I, I just don't want to lose him. You know. We don't have to go in the freaking bushes. We don't have to go in the freaking bushes. <laughs> Stop, <laughs> guys! That was the coolest sunset hunt ever. I mean, literally sitting up here on the rock, chilling, chatting with Caden. No big deal. <laughs> I'm stoked. I don't know what happened with that first arrow. Just a little bit high. That second arrow was just a little bit further back, but he was dripping a lot of blood. He probably would have gone down. But kind of what I've learned in my, my short, brief hunting career is that if I can see him, I want to hit him again, especially with these pigs and these tunnels. And that last, that last, that last shot just dropped him right on the spot. But I'm, I'm beyond thankful to harvest this thing. This thing is going to be delicious. I feel like I watched this thing grow up. Like it was like our baby. Like I've watched this thing at your house for freaking months now. So stoked to not be in those tunnels of death right now. Just unbelievable. Caden, thank you so freaking much. You're the man. We're going to clean this guy up. And then I guess we'll see you back in the kitchen with Sam. See what kind of madness she's got planned. Sam, I just shot a pig. What are you making me for breakfast? Oh, uh, no, I'm sleeping today. Are you covered in kittens? I'm covered in kittens, I can't move. I think you can make me breakfast. Okay, so apparently I'm making Sam breakfast today. Now, I have a pork tenderloin. I looked up breakfast pork online and it came up with like a really cool breakfast hash, but it called for pulled pork. So, I don't have any pulled pork. So we're gonna try with these little tenderloins here. I'm just gonna cut them thin. I'm gonna cook them really simply in like the cast iron skillet. And then I've got a bunch of veggies here I'm gonna throw in onions, peppers, jalapenos. Let's we'll see what happens. So I'm fairly new to the wild pork and I actually only shot this like literally last night. But I've got these tenderloins and the first step is to get this silver skin off, this tough stuff on the back. And so to do that, it's just like filleting a fish. You know, you're coming down like this, straight across. And that's that, nice and clean. And then I can take this and kind of trim up whatever I want, make it pretty, cut it into nice little chunks to use to cook with. Thinking cubes, I don't know why, but I'm thinking cubes. I'm gonna use some bacon fat here, grease up the pan, I'm gonna cook those pork chunks separately, and then do all the veggies. Free range wild pork, shot last night. Get it soaking up that grease. All right, I just cooked that pork meat a little bit, and now I'm gonna put these veggies in. I left the bacon grease and kind of whatever seasoning was in there, in there. That garlic. Pepper, got paprika, some Hawaiian salt. Smells freaking delicious. My only mistake I can see already is I should have added more pork. Got some pre boiled potatoes, stir this up a little bit. All right, guys, so I'm gonna make three wells here. That didn't go as well as I expected. All right, 
pick up three sort of wells. I'm gonna do like half a cup of cheese. I'm gonna use some more cheese. Breakfast of champions. Go in the oven. For like five or ten minutes, we'll see. I think it's done. Check that out. A little bit of green onions, some more cheese. That looks freaking incredible. Sam, you ready? Oh my god. What do we think? That looks incredible. Guys, how many cats is too many cats? Freaking wow. good? Yeah, that's really good. Pig getting eaten? Pig getting edited. Check this out, guys. What a delicious, unexpected breakfast meal here. Have not tried it yet. It smells incredible, looks incredible. Sam says it's incredible. Wow. Honestly, the only thing I would change is like triple the pork, seeing as how I have an unlimited supply of pork. Guys, we're gonna feast, we're gonna get this video out. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and we'll see you next time right here on Ryan Myers Expeditions.